What's going on guys? It's a couple days after I installed the new turbos and I just want to uh, let you guys know that they are strong, solid, and everything runs good. Um, you know, you want to run it easy the first couple days, make sure nothing is uh, leaking or everything's kind of broke in properly and running good. So that's what I did and everything's pretty solid. Um, last couple steps after you do these turbo upgrades is uh, a few things you want to pick up. Um, a new uh, three bar map sensor, ours I believe is a two and a half. So what that does is uh, it's just uh, it's a sensor that will read higher boost uh, values. Um, so it'll accurately measure um, the higher boost range that we're gonna have in this truck. So uh, three bar, uh, that's easy to install. I'll show you really quick where it goes and uh, how to install it. And then uh, the next step after that is getting it properly tuned. You guys know my truck is tuned by uh, more power tuning. So uh, Mike and the gang was uh, quick with uh, sending me an update file. I bought the uh, sensor from them. So they uh, updated my truck for the turbos and the new uh, three bar sensor, um, which is cool. Um, so appreciate that. And um, I'm going to take it down to them hopefully one day this week or maybe next week and get it back on the, uh, the dyno and get it dialed in there. So. Look forward to that in another video. Um, that should be exciting to see what kind of numbers. I think I was at 485, 45 without some of the uh, current upgrades I got on now. So it'd be pretty cool to see kind of how much we can squeeze out of this um, Gen 1 EcoBoost here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this three bar on and you guys can check it out. This is where that sensor is located right here. You'll see mine's a little bit different. That's my uh, that's my boost reference for the blow off valve there in case you guys didn't see my other videos. So that sensor just sits right here. And this is the map, um, which is the uh, manifold absolute pressure. So that's, uh, you know, after, after throttle body in the manifold here. So you can get that uh, accurate reading for the uh, boost pressure there. This is a uh, Ford Motorcraft product. I, I want to say these come on the Ford Raptors because they run a little bit uh, more boost with the high output engines. But uh, not for certain on that, but I would imagine if it's a Ford product. It's a T15. It's the old one there. These are good to uh, clean every once in a while, also, if you haven't. And FYI, if your truck's idling a little rough, um, May not just be the plugs or the coils, it's, uh, I'd say every, you know, 20,000, 30,000, pull the O2 sensors and spray some brake cleaner in there, and man, I mean, this thing is running perfect after I did that. I like to put a little grease on all my O-rings there, just a little bit, 
Help it slide in and out. All right, so that's the install of the new three bar map sensor. So you should be good to go. Next step is just tuning. You will have to uh, get your tuner to adjust that for the uh, new sensor anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the uh, email tunes they sent me and I'll get that and uh, probably do some data logging. And then uh, hopefully, like I said this week, we'll get on the dyno again and see what she's making. Guys got more questions, let me know. Thanks.